Hello guys and welcome to my video. This is a very belated video. <laughs> um, if you're not aware of my personal life or don't follow my blog, then you probably don't know that I moved into a van full time. So this apartment has been packed up and put into a storage unit. Um, I'm recording this video voiceover from a van, so apologies if you hear all sorts of like traffic noises and whatnot. Um, it kind of can't be helped because there's not really any place better. This video is one for me to show off what my apartment used to look like because I put a lot of hard work into it and also because I really genuinely loved that apartment. It was really hard for me to leave it. Um, no regrets. I still love being in the van now, but, um, at the time it was a really difficult decision to make. Um, this video is also kind of a flex at the peak plant obsession time period. Um, so I will go ahead and explain what each of the plants are as they come up on the screen. And yeah, lastly, this is really just like to commemorate this apartment if I ever move back, which I might. Um, move back into that exact same apartment then like I know where everything was and I can just put everything right back and Yeah, if I never move it back into that apartment, then I really want this video to just look back on and be like Good job pat on the back. So cute Anyways, I'm gonna stop rambling now. This has been more than enough introduction and I will just start explaining what everything is so you're seeing two doors on the screen. The door on the left was my front door. You can tell by the people. Um, the little filigree thing above it was a gift from my aunt. It used to have like a little H sticker, but I replaced it with like an Etsy sticker that's like go travel or something cute like that. Next to the front door is my hall closet and I just have like a little sprig of like dried eucalyptus hanging from it to be cute, V aesthetic. Next to the front door, I have this little like horseshoe key rack that I've also had since I was like in high school. I was like a horse kid in high school and before that. So I've got a lot of like horse memorabilia stuff still left over. Below the key rack, I have this little table that I thrifted and I planned to replace the tabletop on to make it match all the other wood. Um, if you watched some of my other vlogs and you saw that I like handmade a bunch of my furniture and so yeah I just could very easily replace that tabletop to match all the other furniture in my apartment I just didn't get quite around to it um, but in the basket part of that I just keep my work backpack because I work at a tech company we have uh, laptops and stuff that we have to bring home and then on top of that is my purse backpack or my purse whatever purse I'm carrying at that time it was a purse backpack and then on that table was just this ginormous mandula pothos so you are currently getting an overview of my living room this was a one bedroom apartment and I um, converted the dining room into like an office and vanity area because like I don't need a dining room. Um, I'm going to start in this one little corner. I had a projector that you can see like displaying between the entry table and this mirror. Yeah, so the mirror I made from scratch. Um, it's got like this cute little fur rug at the bottom and then like an Ikea wicker poof. Um, next to that was a record stand and I made that from scratch as well and a little blue Crosley record player, some speakers, a small very modest record collection, and then a couple of plants. So in that corner I had a vining philodendron I was trying to get to climb up the mirror which would be very cute but never happened. I had a moonshine sansevieria, a whale fin sansevieria, aka a snake plant, a strawberries and cream syngonium, and then hanging up by the mirror was actually another mandula pothos because when I got it, it was so big that I actually split it into two different plants. Moving along, the next thing I'm showing you guys is my coffee table. I also built this from scratch. I have this nice wool rug I got off of um, Facebook and I like snaked the cord underneath the rug so it was like be sneaky because I had my projector there 
On top of that, I have a terrarium full of Fitonia, a little tray that I got from H&M, some books, some cuttings that I was trying to root that have since died. Next to the record player, I had a little cluster of plants next to my big sliding glass window. So I had a big bird of paradise, a blue star fern, and a Cebu blue pothos that I had started from cuttings sitting on the ground. The absolute best part of this apartment was the view. Um, I really loved my balcony and I actually used it, surprisingly. I think this is the first balcony that I genuinely used. Um, I built that little um, shelf that you can see on the balcony railing. I built that, then there was like a bar stool. I used the Ikea tiles because it was just a concrete floor and put like a little rug. And then my favorite thing was the hammock. And I got that for like a huge steal on Facebook. And then I sewed a little pillow for on top of it. On the balcony, I had a couple of cactus cuttings, some aloe. I used to have some herbs in the terracotta pot, so you see. Um, but I'm really bad at keeping herbs alive. Um, in the corner was a yucca plant or a yucca, however you say that. And yeah, the balcony was just a really great place to um, hang out and watch fireworks. That was the best thing, is watching fireworks in the valley. There's also like a storage closet out there, which I just had like empty boxes in. And then um, I had like a little basket that I made a concrete top for. And that was where I kept like all my potting soil. So moving back inside next to that sliding glass door, I had like a basket full of blankets. I had a really nice ZZ plant and then a lamp from Ikea. It was the Ikea as is section, so I got it for a really good deal. I have a gallery wall above my couch with art from people who I really genuinely enjoy. It was one of the things I was most excited about having an apartment was getting to like um, pay for art from artists who I really like appreciated and admired and not all of it is from them, like there's some pieces that I made, some pieces that were gifted, some pieces from Society6, and some traveling pieces, but yeah, it's really like a part that I like about my apartment a lot. Um, next to that on the wall, I have a Syngonium, and I can't pronounce it, but it's like a really rare Syngonium. Um, below that, I have a bar cart, and that was like my little propagation station. Um, all sorts of little like pothos cuttings and avocados and pineapples that I was trying to start. Um, just below that was a bunch of knickknacks and everything that never really styled it very well, but <laughs> just keeping it real with you guys. Next up on the tour was my dining room slash desk area slash vanity area slash plant area. <laughs> So starting at my desk, there's a calathea on the floor and this really cute concrete planter. And then on top of the desk, I have this salt lamp with um, a little H and tape dispenser, a journal book, and this jar that I collect all of my super duper tiny travel mementos from. Because when I'm traveling, I'm usually like backpacking, so I can't take big things with me. So I end up with a lot of little magnets and dice and things like that. So they all stay in that little jar. Also on my desk is like a pile of diplomas that I don't have a place for and some mementos. And above the desk, I have this bulletin board, if you want to call it that, with string. I copied it off of Drew Scott's channel. And that was also in a vlog that you may have seen before. And on that is just, you know, mementos, pictures, things that I like and like to have around. Next to that is a plant shelf ladder thing that I made from scratch. I'm really proud of. The top two rungs have plants on them hanging. And then the bottom two are shelves where plants are sitting and... I really didn't film this very well to explain what all plants are on this because at the time I wasn't going to go into detail about what plants are where. So I'm just going to pause the screen and list what was here. Continuing on to my vanity desk, um, you can see I have a couple little plants on here. Um, I have some pallets sitting out, an air plant. 
and then a light up mirror and my makeup brushes normal makeup -y things um since it's going to be a while until you can see how i organize my makeup stash i thought i'd just pull some drawers out for you now um the top drawer contained lip products and in the back there were like costume makeup the second drawer was all of my face products so i had a basket for foundations and primers a basket for concealers some powders a basket for tools and then face palettes and stuff the last drawer that was makeup related was all eye products mascaras eyeliners eye palettes glitters all that kind of stuff and now there's a plane the last two drawers i'll go ahead and show you guys anyways they're just craft supplies so so i had paint brushes hot glue guns label makers scrap wood all sorts of stuff in the last two drawers so next to my makeup desk i had a file cabinet and i just kept everything in neatly little labeled files in the record stand moving right along i have like this little bar area which was very nice and practical that was essentially my dining room table so i had a little charging station there because i didn't like to have my phone in the bedroom with me cute little bar stools and some jute placemats my water bottle and a little coaster geode coaster very urban outfitters of me my kitchen was really nice i had a gas oven for the first time in america which was really cool because i had just learned how to use them in europe and the first apartment i have back has one so my uh, kitchen had a dishwasher really nice double sink i tried to keep the countertops pretty clean so i just have a blender a little decor piece like my toaster was in a drawer so that it wasn't sitting out and cluttering the counter a little butter dish that's like an antique from my grandma it came with the microwave above the stove which is pretty cool and then not to flex or anything but just to show you how i did my pantry since i was fairly zero waste not perfect but um i had my spice jars at the top of the pantry and like drink mixes coffee sweeteners etc and then i had all sorts of like normal pantry stuff um but at the bottom you could see that i had all of my big half gallon jars that had um dry goods and bulk goods between my microwave and my pantry was my regular dish cabinet and those are all dishes that were like vintage hand-me-downs for my parents and i love them so much below that in the bottom half of the cabinets i had my silverware drawer and then the next one was kind of like the catch-all drawer but still pretty organized all like food related knives and bottle openers and stuff then I had my linens and a kitchen scale, and then my toaster and baking and mixer stuff. On the left side of my oven, I had the cabinet that had all of my pots and pans. Above that, I had all of my cooking utensils, so spatulas and spoons, and then my scissors so that they're easy access. Above that is the biggest cabinet, and so I had my mug collection and then all of like salad spinners tupperware mixing bowls coffee maker my actual catch-all drawer is just the teeny little drawer and like pro tip if you don't want to have like a giant catch-all drawer make that catch-all drawer the smallest drawer in the kitchen <laughs> below that i have this tiny little drawer which is perfect for like baking sheets and i had a little spiralizer behind that and that's all of the cabinets in the kitchen between um the pantry and the refrigerator was another door i don't know if you saw it earlier and that led to my laundry room i know right i have an in-unit laundry room crazy why would i ever leave this this laundry room obviously just had like a washer and dryer in it it was also where i had my trash bins because the unit provided us with trash bins and recycling bins and then the whole top of the laundry room had these shelves which i filled with bins that had all of my like hardware stuff, cleaning stuff, um, in an effort to be like less wasteful. I had some bins that had like old sour cream containers and things like that that I could reuse for plant things. I made the little laundry symbol like artwork myself, which was pretty cool. I'm not very artsy, so I was pretty proud of that one. I made a lot of things in my apartment, but not a lot of it was like artistic <laughs> like that was. 
So just to help people orient themselves, what you're seeing now is the hallway that leads from my kitchen to my bathroom and my bedroom. That hallway is actually behind the gallery wall in the living room that you guys saw. So I don't know if that helps, but anyways. So this is my bathroom. Um, shout out to me and my pajamas in the mirror. Uh, it's pretty standard. Again, I tried to keep things off of the countertops, so I just have three jars that have reusable cotton pads, cotton swabs, and flossers, my soap and toothbrush, and then underneath the cabinet I have um, skincare in one drawer, hair styling tools and hair dryer and stuff in the other drawer, and then in the cabinet underneath the sink I kept my sewing machine and my clothes iron. So I have this giant snake plant, which is real, in a basket and on a stand. My trash can, some extra toilet paper, and then like plungers and cleaners and toilety stuff. Above that I have these shelves, which are actually command strip shelves, so like I didn't even have to put nails on the wall. And they just have some like decor, a reed diffuser, some skincare products that are either like empties, and I like the bottle, so I kept them, or things that I'm using. I have a clock in my bathroom, because you always need to know what time it is when you're getting ready in the morning. My shower curtains from Walmart, of all places. I really liked it. It was really hard in the bathroom because everything is so cream colored. So I have like a mixture of white and cream. And I think they tied that really well in with the two rugs. I have the whole layered rug look going on. Behind my bathroom door, I have these really great shelves that um, I lined with baskets just to do some organizing. So like the top baskets have stuff I don't use a lot. Then the next shelf down, I have spare towels and my perfume and <laughs> aesthetically pleasing, but also a flosser. And then the next basket down, the left one has hair care products. The right one has like body and like miscellaneous products like static guard and vitamins and stuff like that. The next one down on the left again has hair stuff but more like um hair bands hair ties stuff like that and then the one on the right is all like my medical stuff all my pills and um antiseptics braces all that kind of stuff and then on the bottom i have spare towels and beach towels in a basket and then a jar full of bath bombs and then like everybody else in the world i have my robes on hooks on the back of the door so then going through my bedroom door, there's actually still a little bit more of a hallway. And then on the one side of that, I have these mirrors that I DIY'd, also Drew Scott inspired. And then on the other side behind my door, I have this tapestry from Society6. So coming around the corner, you can see my bed and a little overview of everything. So then going around the corner from that hallway, there's a hanging planter that has a Peperomia Ruby Cascade and then this really cool basket I got at a thrift store. And then right next to that is my closet. And again, not to flex or anything, but just to show you guys like where I was at with like my wardrobe and everything. So to the right inside the closet, there was a tall hanging rod for dresses and I also had like belts on that and underneath it I kept taller boots and then on top of that was like a little shelf and I just have my knockoff Prada purse there and then you can see obviously the top rod is just regular shirts and on the top are some baskets that have like workout apparel and hats and things like that and then on the bottom rod I have all of my pants which is like slacks jeans skirts etc and then on the left side i have a bin on the top for underwear bin for socks and then these hanging bins from ikea which have like sweatpants and sweaters leggings and um, pajama shirts things like that and then underneath that i have a shoe rack with all the rest of my shoes and um, that's, you can see why I have the boots on the other side because they don't fit on the shoe rack. So taking you back out of my closet, this is the little overview of my bed. I wanna focus first on the nightstand. So starting on the nightstand on the left, 
I have this really, really juvenile philodendron xanadu. And then above that, I have this super large Monstera deliciosa. And then on that bedside table, I have my library book of the moment, some lotion, and then that little chest has like lip balm and nail clippers and stuff like that. On the right nightstand is my humidifier for the room because I like to have humidity to sleep and also because the plants love it. This is my main plant room, so anything that needs a lot of humidity is in this room. That nightstand nice just has a little donkey tail succulent uh, picture of me and my mama. And my headphones because I like to listen to music to go to sleep sometimes, but I don't like to keep people awake if I'm doing that at like 3 a.m. So below that, I just have an alocasia poly tucked to the side and then a little baby calathea that I was nursing back to health. So at the foot of my bed, I have this blanket that's vintage from my parents' house. My bedding is all from Ikea, um, just really cute blue velvet throw pillow. Um, my sheets are from Walmart because I actually like the cheap sheets. They feel better to me. I don't know, sue me. Above that, I have a yarn wall tapestry thing. It was the first DIY I made when I moved into the apartment. And then like the second DIY I made when I moved in next to it was the sconces that are hanging off the wall. And those were actually um, recreations from the Sorry Girls. So my bedroom also has the great view that my balcony does. And laying there and like watching traffic and everything was so soothing going to sleep. I loved it. In my windowsill, I have a boatload of plants. This is a Dishidia lancelotta or something along those lines. And then I had just a bunch of succulents here. There's like a bag of orange seeds that I was starting just as a little experiment, a jade plant, a sundew, which is a carnivorous plant to help with fungus gnats. Had an elephant ear that was like super tiny. And then these little Starbucks cups that I got from doing a company tour with them and I planted some little cactuses in it. So then just in this corner I have a little reading nook with a bunch of plants and then next to that is a bookshelf that I made that also houses a bunch of plants and that's essentially the rest of my room so if you're not a fan of plants then like feel free to click away at this point because the majority of everything else is just gonna be me talking about plants. So here you can see behind that reading nook, there was a lamp from Ikea. The chair in that nook was from Facebook and I just had like a really nice floor pillow that was on it as a seat cushion and like an Ikea rug that was um, on the back of it. On the wall in that basket was a cream and green wandering juke and then just a dream catcher that I've had since I was like literally five. A lot of the plants here are really in various stages of neglect because I was trying to decide if I want to move in the van at this time. So you could see that parlor palm, the string of pearls, they weren't doing too hot. There was a um, thrifted little teacup that had a bunch of crystals in it. Then on this shelf there is an aluminum plant, a baby elephant ear, some little string of hearts, and a silver dollar cutting. And then below that in the back is just another philodendron vine. And then you can see there's a pilea, pepperamoides, a raphidophora tetrasperma, yet another elephant ear plant, um, and then another type of elephant ear plant, um, some more Cebu blue that I have rooting in a pot, and then in the back there is a philodendron selum and a banana tree. So then moving away from the reading corner nook and finishing off the whole apartment tour with this bookshelf that I made, um, you can see on top of it I have this mirror which I thrifted and then repainted. It's got this little dream catcher on it that I got in Dresden. There's a print from Society6 right in front of it and starting on the bottom shelf and working my way upwards that bottom shelf had a philodendron micans an angel wing begonia some books on it a uh, cryptanthus um some cuttings of monstera deliciosa little horse statues some dishidia cuttings i was rooting um a peperomia frost cutting that i was rooting a zigzag cactus again that i'm rooting and then a little bookend Moving up, there is a little lantern that I never really styled because it just 
came back from my parents' house during 4th of July, which was right before I decided to move. There are some cups with old jewelry, some other cuttings rooting in that little pot, a big gold swan with all my sunglasses, some angel wing begonia rooting, another little piece of uh, zigzag cactus rooting. Um, that's a little succulent I can't think of the name of anymore. A couple of air plants and then that Discoria elephantipes which is super rare and I paid so much money for. Um, on the top of the shelf, there's that Calathea. I have an honors medal from WSU where I went to bachelor's and those are my rings sitting in that little tray that I DIY'd a long time ago. I have a really nice string of hearts here on the top. Um, in the top corner, you can see a um, unidentified peperomia that Nick Pelegi has like a bunch of and then my jewelry and so yeah that essentially concludes my apartment tour I hope you all enjoyed and thank you so much for sticking it through with me it's been like a half hour long video so I thank you for your dedication and yeah if you want to go ahead and follow me on social media it's my way of everything everywhere Instagram, Facebook, and then my blog is mywayofeverything.com. So stay tuned and I'll start posting a bunch of van videos and van content. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.